this is the first visual. Just click here, come to um, people table analyze, click on people charts. Uh, this one also, just click on that. You can change the, the visualization if you want to. If you don't like this color, you can change. Can hear you. So if you don't like the color, you can change the color. Um, I I like it. Is it recorded? Yes, it is. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna. I, I can I don't want to create visualization for this particular one because it's too much. So it's going to look very tiny. So I'm just going to skip that. We can create visuals for this. But let's see if it's going to come out nice. So I'm just going to change this to a different visual, uh, change type. Let's see if we can have a line graph instead. If it's not going to look too clumsy. Okay, I think it's better. But usually line graphs are used for time series and uh, analysis. But I just want to use it here because if I use if I use it as a bar chart or a column chart, this is what we get. Well, I think it's it's okay, it's not bad. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. Then we have this right here. We can create this also come in here. Pick one of this. And I think this is very much similar to what we have at the top here. So I'm just going to delete this. Then uh, I'm just going to scroll down. And that looks like that's it. But here, I'm going to narrow down. Let me see. I'm going to narrow down my, my columns here to only select a few countries because I don't want to, to plot out the entire thing. I'm just going to select all. I'm going to deselect this. And I'm going to pick the regions I'm interested in. So I'm going to pick Canada, Central Africa. Um, just going to pick randomly. US Center. I'm just gonna pick these three and then I'm gonna visualize this. So now we can start comparing regions according to the orders. Now you can see that we have small orders in Canada compared to Central Africa and uh, the US Central. So we can see that from the center of the US, you have more uh, orders being completed. We have few orders being, uh, being on payment review, and uh, we have very few orders that are canceled. So usually when they start up the purchase, they ended up, they end up buying the product. And then we have pending payments. It seems to be on the high also. A lot of people have actually added the product to their cart. They've not made they, they've not uh, made payments yet. That's what this means. And then what have we got here? Okay. Suspended uh, suspected fraud is quite minimal, but it's still on the high side. Uh, compared to other regions, so you see that we have a great traction from the US. So if I want to then turn this into, do we have a time in our data set? 
Uh, let me see. Okay, we have shipment dates. Uh, we have standard first class and so. So let me see. Do we have anything on shipment date? So, okay, we don't have anything on shipment date, but if we wanted to create something on shipment dates, we could do that also. I'm just gonna copy this right here. This right here, and then change this. So I'm just going to pick something on shipments mode. What's the name of the column? Okay, shipping mode. And then Okay, so I'm just going to plug this also. So we see that we have more standard order and um, next day delivery is just very minimal. So, so that's what we have here. First class, same day, second class, and standard. So standard will take five to ten business working days. So now let's um let's start creating like the dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is to draw the layout for my dashboard. So I'm just going to come here, create. Okay, then I I want to start working on what I want to put in there, like how my data is going to be structured and stuff. So to do that, I'm just going to like draw out like a plan on the screen where I want to have my data. So this is the exact same screen I'm going to use, but it's going to be a blank Excel sheet. So the first few lines here, uh, maybe first three lines up to column V, I want this place to be my, um, my title. So I could either uh, come here and margin center. Where is it? I could either do match sales right here or margin center, match sales, margin center, so that I can say that this is going to serve as my title. So I'm just going to change this to a much more readable font.
So I'm going to make need this my title. And um, I want this side here. So it's going to be this side. And I can put this as my... Depending on the chest that I have, right now, if I come here, I have one, two, three, four, if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four, five. have five charts here and um I need this to feed it into all of this place. So let's try to you know make this as intuitive as possible. So I'm just gonna say this is going to be my charts one single second chance. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, I can. Okay, uh, I, I'm just saying you just uh, your voice is not that audible, and you're just creating chat upon chat upon chat. I don't even know how we got here or any. I don't know if I'm the only one that's lost to. You said I'm doing what? Like you, uh, you just when you go to this chart, I don't know what informed this chart in this uh old dashboard, because we, I could I could barely hear what you are saying. Your voice is not audible at all from my end. I don't know if it's my part actually. So that was what I was like. Let me maybe probably it's my network. I don't know. I don't know how this chart came about. Why is there this chart there? What uh, is the usefulness of the one we first did, the bar chart and the rest? So if we do the bar chart, why are we still creating a chart? I have not started creating any charts. I'm just creating a layout. That's why I said at the beginning. I said I want to create a dashboard, but I want to create a layout of where my dashboard is going to fit into. I gave us some questions the other time to create visualization based on business questions and data analytic question. Then <clears throat> we created a pivot table with what we have here from this question, which is what led us to this summary. And I sent us this summary last week and I asked us to turn all of this into visualization. So what I did was just to turn it into a visualization click anywhere in the pivot table, come to pivot table analyze, click on pivot table charts. That's just two clicks and you have a chart. So I've done these two clicks for each of these um, pivot table that we have here. I hope you can hear me better now. Yeah, I can. I've done this, I've used these two clicks to create visualization. That's basically what I gave us to do since last week. So it's just two clicks. Click anywhere here. Click pivot table analyze. Click pivot chart. And that's it. So that's what I've done. <clears throat> that's what I've spent the last 10 minutes. Do sorry, the last 10 minutes doing. Just click in here. Click here. The chart comes out. I've not done any special magic. It's just the same data sets that we have. So, and then this one was the first, this one was a new one I just created, which is on the um, delivery. And um, I wanted to know the orders that we have, the delivery patterns that we've, we've previously had. So that's basically what I've done. I've not done any new thing here. It's basically the data sets that we have. I'm just ch changing it to a visualization. And then from this other dashboard, I created a new sheet which we will be using as our dashboard. And I said that our dashboard is, is going to be uh, the representation of what we have inside a summary. And I said, how many visualizations do we have? I said, we have five. 
I said, we need to fix this dashboard to be able to um, encompass all five, that, all five visualization. So I've not started importing any visualization or anything. I'm just drawing out like a sketch of where I'm going to put all of these visuals when I bring them here. So I'm not in X, I've not done anything out of the ordinary. It's just like, like uh, planning what, what and where you want to place your visuals. We've identified that we have five visualizations here. We have five visualizations here. I want to create a layout for those five visualizations here so that by the time I start bringing those visualizations, I know where to place them. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not like doing anything out of the moon. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. It's clear now. So the first chart, the second chart is going to fit here. We can have a third chart can fit into here. Just going to margin sensor also. Then we can have the two other charts. Just going to say this. And this. So we must create, if we are visualizing 10, we must create 10 charts. Yeah, you need to create like a layout of what you want it to look like so that by the time you start importing, you will know where what fits in to. Oh, yes. Because by the time you you don't have like a skeleton of what you're working on, everything looks like so... Um, mm -hmm. It looks so scattered. So this one now, I'm seeing that there is a little bit of space there. So I'm just going to put this here. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can make this as, you know, visually uh, appealing as you can. Just trying to I personally feel like this is nice now, or yeah, this is better. Okay, I feel this is better now. I'm just going to read, increase this. Okay. Yeah, so I have like one, two, three, four, five. So I just want to start bringing my charts now. So I'm going to go back to summary. Take the first chart, which is this guy. I could copy it or move it. Just gonna copy it. Come here and paste it. I wanna ensure that it doesn't go past my um my allocated space for it. It's going to make sure that it fits into that page. Like nicely done. And I'm gonna go back to the other ones and pick the same thing and do the same thing for them. Uh, that's the first one. That's the other one. So be somewhere around there. Um okay. Okay, this is also a long chart. I'm just gonna pick this, come back here, paste it right here.
uh, this long, long one, I think it's like a, a bridge version of this first one you put. There's another one that is a bit uh, longer at the top. That's why. These ones are basically like the longest, I think. Yeah, it is. It's the longest. Like I'm just saying that it's like the first one you uploaded. This one is like the uh, brother version of um, of it. We see that it's not feeding into. We can. Um... We can make a main site. Okay, you can see that looks nice. So apart from the other, like skeletons that we are still seeing. We're going to get rid of those ones in a minute. So we have two plots to go. Uh, two plots down, three plots to go. So I'm going to come back to summary again, and I'm going to pick the remaining two. So uh, it's, it's looking like my chat is just all like box plots. Sorry, um, column column chart. So I might want to change one of these into a pie chart or something like that. Just going to change this to a pie chart. I can change it to do not. Yes. Yeah. This looks more like it. It's going to look interesting. Can put that in the middle here. Okay, then I can also read this one. This is four. I'm just going to put it as also. You can see that it's really fitting into this box, this layout that we created nicely. So we know what to put where, and um, it looks like the only thing we are seeing right now is just this uh, amazing Excel line at the bottom. So we're just going to fix the last one now, which is this right here. Uh, let's see, is, is there a repetition? Okay.
Now, the next thing I want to do is to get rid of this uh, Excel lines. Just going to highlight all of this. Going to view. And tick guidelines. We so can see that the Excel lines are gone. All right, it's not looking like a visual of charts alone. Just, just gonna take this. And here I'm gonna put in a background color. I'm gonna go to in my home tab and I'm gonna pick uh, orange or something. If it's not too dark. Or I could just go to a color wheel. I'll change it a bit to fit into my this color, this color I have right here. I want it to fit into it. So I'm just gonna put it out to I'm gonna say uh, this data set is about shipments, right? Um, supply chain dashboard or something. Let's come right here and say supply dashboard dashboard. Can I get that correctly? Um, I want this in the middle. And I want this bold. I want this bold enough. And I want the color to be changed to white. Okay. Now, I'm having this color thing that is looking very confusing. This is colorized for me. So if I click on here, I can go to my design here and I can change this color. I just want it to be like a touch of blue throughout. Oh, this one. Yeah. This would do or something with blue and orange. Maybe this one, just to make it colorful. So just pick whichever one works for you, but make sure you don't have too much of color riots in there. Just seeing a green or of color is just um not looking nice for me, I think. So I have this one. I would rather work with this. And um or for the sake of people that might have uh, challenges with colors, I think I would maybe work with this whichever one just play around with it and see which one, which one fits into your thing so i'm going to remove this one just going to say delete so that i have more for this and i'm going to remove the title i can put in maybe uh, something around what this chart is for this chart is for something. Let me see. Thanks for all that. I answered also. This was for what? Uh, for um, other status and then the sum of the quantity. I think the very first one. All that status. Challenges to other states is just going to use this a bit. Okay, other states and um.
I just want to close what I'm trying to do. I just want to, I don't want this to be having like separate lines. I just want to close that gap in between. So I'm just going to send this to this. Okay. So that it looks like it's a pencil motion. Okay. Yeah. So it was versus 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 bits. So I'm putting some slices and stuff at the side if you want to. Um, let's see if we can put this without having to fix this. Let's try to. Let's go to this. Recording, recording, recording. Okay, so if I wanted to create a slice of this, I'm just going to come back in. Uh, probably columns that have not worked on or something. Maybe. Um, let me see. Maybe this one. I'm just going to put the highlight this. And then I'm going to put it to. So it's like so. But before I do that, I'm just going to copy this. Let's say as well. And then. Let's see what I want to do. Good. 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 Then I'm just going to cancel this one. Cancel this one. Cancel this one. So I only have this ones. And if I want to maybe attack by certain places, 
I can do that. But if I just wanted this one alone, I can change this to put uh, this size. I'm just gonna choose this. Um this this one, that's the one that I will jump. So this is what that looks like. Just gonna copy this. Uh, I could cut it which I have And if just on the other one is fixed it there. Okay. So there has to be some set some um type of connection between this and the visualizations that we have here. So we need to create that connection. So if I click on this slicer and I come to slicer, you will see uh connection. So it's asking me what you wanted to connect to. If I choose everything, so which means if I choose a particular region, I get all the details about, about that region from this. So you can see now that this has updated because now I'm saying I want it to have everything. But before, from the chart I created here, I only chose three countries. So if I now say no, I want to choose maybe Canada or something. You now see I only have I have details for Canada alone. All of their processed or the I say Caribbean. You can see the values keeps changing and it keeps keeping you know real time changes with what the values are in different regions. And if I click this multiple select, I can have multiple regions. I can have multiple regions being selected. So I can then compare and contrast. But then this particular one seems, I don't think it's changing. Okay, it's changing, it's changing. It's changing. So you can see how that is changing. And this is by country, but this particular one is by total. So that's the difference. Even though this chart and this chart looks like the same thing, it's not actually the same thing. So I will tell you the entire like um orders for all the countries that's been selected. Whereas this one will change it to like specific, you know, um countries alone. And then this one, I feel like this is a repetition because if we have regions here, we shouldn't be having regions here also. So I want to get rid of this. Yeah, over it there. Sorry, did you say something? No, no, I'm not talking to you. Okay, please let me tell you. Okay. So, uh, no, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, can you please mute your mic because we are putting this live. Oh. On. On YouTube, we don't want to pass it on. <laughs> All right, so uh, we can go ahead and look for uh, something to fix here. Um, I could do. Oh, I have something on product. Product department. Okay, we can even fix something like this there. Let me see if I have something on product department. Oh, yeah, I do. So I'm just going to see. If I create a visual on this. This is what I get. But if I select some of this, maybe select the. Yes, I want to just see what we can.
Okay, so you can see now we have fishing plates. This is camping. Um, that you humans of a uh, uh, water sport men's men's um footwear and um indoor games and just one seven two three four five six seven eight nine okay let's see if we can select this ones Okay, so I just refresh this now. And it's not showing, so I need to look at this one. Tenants, email, email. I'm just gonna refresh this again and do it right. So I'm gonna copy this back here. Let's take another. 
fix fix this. Okay. Um then I need to connect this now. Because right now I don't think this is connected to this. Let me see. Okay, let me first. Yeah, it is. So all of this seems to be connected now. Uh, I'm just gonna put in a small title here. So that it makes sense. Or uh, if we were just in first place to do it, maybe I won't have to do that. Yep, this way. Then we don't have anything from we don't have anything from time series. If we wanted to create that. We could also do that. I need this just to do that because uh we need to first fix this by month and uh, year, and then we then use that as a visual here. So that would then be a line. That would be a line graph because we usually we use um line graphs for time series. So I'm just gonna close this here. I come to slice and on, I go to I go back here. I can choose the pattern. So you can see that my slicer is different from the pattern of what I have here. I can choose this to fit into what I have. And this is to orangeish. So let's see. I think this one fits it. So this is looking more like a visual now. So we are able to really to work with this. So if we are particular about a year, we can come here. I think we have, let me see. Now 2018 to 2015. Okay, no, not even, even 2015, I guess. So what we can do is that we can start grouping by years. We can fix two slices here, one here, maybe one here, or just right beside each other. And then we can now start select. When we pick maybe a certain year, we can see how everything has gone, has happened throughout that particular year. And we can also do by month also. We can do by month, we can do by year, we can also do by date. So we can really do a lot. But what we've done here is a representation of what we have in here. So we said at the beginning that we want to check the uh, profit and loss, the late deliveries, the discount rates, the regions, the order status, and the region that we have the highest order. So if we come back here now, we can see that we have the IS order somewhere here, which is Central America. We have Central America and we have Western Europe. But when you look closely at these two, let me just select this. We have um, Central America and uh, Western Europe. Now, when I choose these two, uh, I'm just going to interrupt there. And then I'm going to check the other one. Uh, Western American and Central. 
Same color with all the same group. Now, these two regions seem to have like the highest, right? Now, if you look at this, you see that we have um complete above. We have um one million six hundred and sixty four four hundred and ninety six. Then we have complete order here. We have one point seven. So we can see that like comparing these two regions based on what we've seen on the on the larger uh, scale like in the bigger picture we can see that western europe has more traction so we can now start narrowing down and you know checking which products are they looking for you can see that fishing is what they are actually looking for so fishing or the number of product we bought is fishing and the sum of order per order. So we can scrap this sum of order because it looks very small compared to the items that has been uh, okay now let's let's look at the profit side. So we have this number of products uh, um ordered. This is the profit that we are making. It's not bad. It's not bad actually. And then we have in just these two regions. When we start comparing to other regions, you can start seeing which which um store is making profits, which store is not making profits, which one we should close down, which one we should leave um you know, still in operation. And if you look at this late and on time for this particular region, you see that we still have more um. 58% of the time we have late deliveries. So, and then you see that also in both of this region, we have payment review very small, road review very small, pending payments on the large side and complete. So how can we then ensure that payments are not, we don't have pending payments is the next thing we want to look at now. How do we ensure that this processing, pending, payment review, all of this are now aggregating towards the completed transaction? That's a question we might want to answer again. So, so that's just that about this data set. So you can try to make this more uh you know interactive. You can create time series of this. Just extract the month and year from this and then create, you can either create a slicer like I've done mine, fix it anywhere here, and then you can click on it and interact with this. So if I don't want, if I want to share this, um, this file and I don't want anyone to be able to ch drag and change anything, I'm just going to come to view again.
there's a lock key somewhere here. You can actually password your sheet. When you password your sheet, it means that no one will be able to open the file unless they have the password. But apart from that, there's actually a key. Uh, what's it called? A feature where you could actually lock the visuals. Um, I tried um, using that um, protect. Maybe I think I used the workbook because when I used the workbook, I noticed I could not, uh, even me myself, could not access it. Yeah, I, could not, I could not exit the, except this thing until I computed the password. But after then, it just, I think it just disappeared also. Although I didn't try to protect the uh, sheet. You can try protect sheet and see what comes out of that. Okay, I'll try it later. After the class. Okay. Maybe my version of this thing is not how. I know there's a uh, grid lock or something. So that whoever, when you send the file, Whoever has the file will not be able to make changes to what you've done. Try and see. Also, you can align your your chat to be horizontally aligned or vertically aligned using what we have here. But you have to click on the chat and then use that. But for me, I don't think I need that because my I don't have equal numbers of this. If I wanted to use this and hold shift on this one. I just come here to align, align to the bottom. So it will not shift anywhere else. Definitely not shift anywhere else. And then I could click on this one to, if I wanted to, you know, split this by space, I could also do that. But there's no space between my, my file my visualization. If I wanted to do that, I'm just going to say this and that's just going to to show and we that. I don't want to wear that anything. And if I click here, it's going to it's going to disturb um, whatever I have going on here. But it's, it's a good tool if you want to use so that the file remains as it is. I think that feature has been removed because it used to be on that view. You could lock, you could lock your visual and then send it out. But the, the option is no longer there. So this visualization looks very simple and nice. Or if you have a different opinion about it, it looks very simple and nice for me and um, it basically solves the questions that we've highlighted here so we can really do a lot with this and we can add more functionalities to it we can decide to make our visuals smaller than this so that we can add in more of inf more information here which is um where is it Which is the date? Okay. Uh, I clicked on my review. I don't know. I'm seeing a protect sheet, protect workbook, always open as read only, restrict permission. I don't know if that's what you're looking for. No, that's not what I'm looking for. There is a particular feature that says grid lock. It used to be there before. No. 
the previous version of Excel, I was using had grade law. So if it's not here, it's like, I guess that's, that has actually been removed. Okay. But if I apply grid lock and I send you this file, everything is going to be where it is. Or if I upload online now, because I'm going to be working with a different interface, it could come out a bit different, but it should still come out nice, obviously, but it's just going to come out a bit different. But when I apply grid lock to it, um, let me see. When I apply grid lock to it, it's going to ensure that everything stays the same way. It's fine. I'm guessing that has been removed. There's no one right here. It's been removed. used to be another data anyway. So um try to create your own visualization. Let's see, try to create something that obviously different from what I've created. We can use this as a you know learning material for what you want to create. In between I think that this orange is much more lighter than this. I don't know if it's my eyes or I feel like this one is more orangey. Yeah, the one on the uh, donut is darker. Yeah. I've seen that one. Yeah, I think it's like the same thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much. So yeah, that's, that's all about that. Any questions?